Last week I was um, asked to do a Shiva service uh, for a family who was not practicing, but actually it was a sad funeral because it was a, a woman of 47 years old who died. Mm -hmm. And her father uh, is orthodox, but the husband is not. And so they asked me to come, and I arrived in this house, which I didn't know anyone except the father, uh, who was a former director of a school that I went to. And the, the father came to me and said, uh, I'm going to do the Mincha service, and, uh, and then you do what you want. And I, I said, okay, because I thought it was not the time to fight. The people right. were in mourning, and it was fine for me. And I thought, even in what I'm going to say afterwards, I'm going to have an input, and people will see that I'm a rabbi and so And then I, the, the husband actually was very upset because he wanted me to lead the service. So in the end, we agreed to the fact that uh, this man with, there were three Orthodox men sitting at the table like a bed din. They had their books open and that they would, <laughs> They, they we agreed that they would recite some psalms, but I was going to lead the ceremony and I was going to talk. So we did like this. They were not very happy about the situation, but that was a compromise. And I started the service. I we I talked and I said, you know, we all come from different backgrounds and that we're here. We try to be sincere. And they did their psalm. They asked me if I wanted to read one. I said no, because that was their part. I did the ceremony, and at the end, the father came to me and said, you know, if I had done an Incha service like I usually do, no one would have participated. Uh, because you did it, everyone joined in, and they could read, and, uh, and he said to me, my Judaism is your Judaism. I want to help you. If you build a synagogue, I want to be with you, and you are right in what you do.